Hello everybody, welcome to my allotment. My name is Tony Smith and this is my God. In the car playing my favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. Hello everybody, welcome back to the allotment. Just a quick update today. I've heard some kind of rumors around. I just want to give you the heads up on kind of my take of it and just give you the kind of the news. So yes, things have been happening in the kind of garden world. I heard rumors today of, or a couple of days ago, of winter onion shortages. And I just thought I'd better let you know, just in case you're kind of putting it off, I'll get, I'll get them next week, get them next week. Maybe it's time to go out and get them. So yes, hello everybody. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon and the thumbs up and you'll get 10 years of good garden luck. <laughs> It <laughs> can't get better than that. So yes, we're on about winter onions today. And I got mine through the post from King Seed. Now let's just go and I'll show you what I've got. So, like I say, King Seeds, I ordered them online. And most times, actually, I've just been to a garden centre. And when you go to the garden centre, you know, you have them kind of hanging up on the little tr the shelf in there. And I think it's by Taylor's. And I've always had a great, you know, run with like let's say the tailors with the you know the, the little bit of card on the top that tells you you know the wind onions but this time i just thought i would try it online and i'll put a link to king seeds i'm not affiliate or anything like that but i've just tried I actually got me order wrong <laughs> i'm always struggling with red onions but i got two lots of the red onions and one lot of the the white onions and i've never looked at them or anything like that these are red winter so you in there there's probably about 50 onion sets in there i've got two lots of the red onion ones and like you see the senshu senshu pack and again 50 in there and it's now time to kind of think about you know what i mean about getting your onions in getting planning for the the year ahead and it's always like see that's what i'm doing the whole garden now it's like the next step, the next step after this step. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to think now. And it's a little bit difficult to kind of get into that mindset. You know what I mean? You, you seem to be always on the back foot worrying about the plants you've got. But if you can just, you know, have a little bit think and plan ahead, now's the time to start planning ahead with your, your onion seeds. You know what I mean? Just get them in the ground and then you can kind of forget about them. And I'm going to just have a little look at all. You know, I'll open these up there now. Yes. I don't know if you can see there. They're, they're nice, to be honest. I'm quite chuffed a bit, like I say, 50 of them. And for me, the, the secret is, or the, the, the goal is not... I mean, they don't go big anyways, do you know what I mean? But just as much as I see your main crop onions, these ones I love. Because they go to, like I say, just possibly smaller than a tennis ball. But the, I find they're great for, like, say, a personal salad or, a, you know, like a little quick salad for 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 that day Do you know when you get your kind of big main onions that's your kind of cooking stews and your broths and your spaghetti bolognese and everything like that where the little salad onions the little yellow ones are fantastic and i'll just have a look at now i forget how much these were to be honest i don't think they were that dear you know what i mean but i just i, I did order them probably about a month and a half ago you know so and again, yes. Now I've heard as well, I don't know if you can, I'll just show you one. You can see that. Now I've heard the smaller the onion like set, the better onion. You know, if you're, if you're putting in like a nice big bulb, which looks good to us, it's not always the case. So I don't know if that's a, like a true rumor or not, but I'll, we'll go outside and I'll show you like where, possibly where I'm gonna plant some of them. And I think great with this idea, you, you can get loads in. Do you know what I mean? You can kind of plant them close together because you're not wanting like a big, you know, a big harvest or a big onion. You just want, well, I am. I'm just wanting like a smaller than a tennis ball, you know, probably about two thirds the size of a tennis ball. And that's all I'm wanting, just lots of them. So I know this little part of the section I mentioned the other day is going to be one, one part of the, the onions. And what I want to do, and what I've heard as well, I don't know if it works or not, but like I mentioned, I always have trouble with red onions bolting. So I'll probably designate this 
to the red onions. Now I had, if you just have a look at this little sign there, I had some banana shallots in here this year and they, they came out lovely to be honest. So I'm hoping this is a lucky bed. <laughs> That's the only way I can kind of describe it. So what I'm going to do is just pre-treat with some chicken pellets. Just get it on there now and just give it a nice feed with the chicken pellets. And apparently this helps to prevent, I'm not going to say stops, We'll wait and see, but anything to kind of to help, the, especially for me, red onions seem to bolt, but we'll just wait and see. Now I'm also going to, I could probably do it now, you know, and pull out these, because I've only got a few of the beans left, and I think I've nearly harvested all of this sweet corn, so there's only probably a couple left that I can, can harvest, so really now this bed's redundant and that'll be a great thing to straight away take out all that and put in a new crop so i haven't got a bed just sitting lying doing nothing you know what i mean i've got that there now and then i'll be able to kind of harvest the onions when they're due so when is the best time to kind of to to, to grow them and to kind of harvest them well <laughs> <laughs> How long is a piece of string? Do you know what I mean? There is some people that kind of start them off in August, do you know, if you if you really want to do. I think the kind of, the time to do it is like early October, do you know what I mean? I'm going to kind of wait a little bit, just get that ground prepared, get some kind of feed and, and goodness in them. But then they say, from say October to December, you, you, you're more than fine to kind of get your onions in and get them. And then, then harvesting. There's a kind of a rule i mean they're going to be little do you know what I mean so that's the kind of thing don't worry about them you know if they are little that's what you want even golf ball size i just i just harvest everything but normally about three months you know the round the kind of they're good for harvesting but it's probably around june where i'll take mine and, and kind of harvest mine maybe a little bit sooner do you know what I mean because i'm normally wanting the ground for something else but anyway there's just what I'll be doing with my winter onions. I hope you, you can get some. Do you know, like I say, I, I don't know if this shortage is real or, I mean, I've had a look online and I've tried to find something, you know, online about it and there's nothing, you know what I mean? And I'm not supposing, you know, like growers would put something online, you know, there might be the odd Twitter thing, but I've certainly heard rumors that they are, you know, in short supply, the winter onions. So go out and get some and enjoy your gardening. Okay then, look after yourselves, take good care. Playing our favorite song Turn it up, windows down We sing along